My name is Dan Herr. I'm a postdoc in the Gerges lab at Harvard University. What I'm going to talk to you today is the underwater mass spectrometer. What it is, is it's a way for us to measure the concentration of gases on the seafloor. We can take this instrument in uh, a large tube pressure vessel to 4,000 meters depth. And so that's several thousand pounds per square inch, the equivalent of holding a pickup truck on the end of a broomstick. So we can measure dissolved gas concentrations all the way down to these extreme depths and pressures. The reason we would want to be able to do this is that it allows us to make real-time sampling decisions. So we can measure the chemistry of a given location where animals or microorganisms may be living. Then we can either choose to collect those samples for more intensive biology, or we can move on to an alternative sampling site. So we can learn as we go and make these adaptive decisions in real time. And additionally, it allows us to move away from things that may bias the concentrations of the things we're looking to analyze. So if you think about a gas sample from the deep ocean being like a can of soda, a can of soda is under twice atmospheric pressure. And whenever you open that can, gas comes out of solution in bubbles. That's the reason why it tingles on your tongue. If you take that pressure and you multiply that pressure by two or 300 times, you can imagine how much more gas you can force into that water. So as you remove that pressure, you lose all that gas. So by collecting a sample on the bottom and bringing it to the surface, you have this chance of losing a tremendous amount of gas. So being able to measure them in real time on the bottom of the ocean allows us to get a more realistic understanding of what the chemical composition in these areas actually is.